What's good, everybody? Welcome back to Family Fridays. Uh, today's discussion is childhood trauma. Joining me today in this open discussion is what up, what up? my good friend, self-published author of Child Get Up. Okay. Introduce yourself. My name is Just Frenzy. <laughs> oh, really? And he Look at that. Just Frenzy, Just That's Jenny. <laughs> just Frenzy. And yeah, definitely. I dropped that book, Child Get Up. So let's tell them what it's about first. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, first and foremost, we was just talking about this, and I even continue over the thought. Mm -hmm. This book caters to basically that awakening. Yeah. Like, kind of looking at your life as something as a gift. Mm. And it's like once you realize it, <clears throat> you start getting into action. You yeah. start fulfilling exactly who you're supposed to be. We talk about that a lot. No doubt. <laughs> we really do. That's it. Like, real. It's true because the older you get, the more you got to tap into who you are and step into your purpose. That's like our running theme step mm -hmm. into your purpose. Right. Um, so you named the book Child Get Up. Yep. What inspired that title? Because that is really like, that really will grab somebody's attention. Like, And I actually showed my friend, and she was like, ooh, I like that. Like, mm. the title is really like, because I feel like it's, it's speaking to a lot of people who feel like I do need to get up. Like, child, get up. Right, and that's why I was named that. It's a wake-up <laughs> like, call. Yeah. Wake your ass up. Literally, like, yeah. get on up. Because that's what it was. It was an awakening call. It was like, yo, do you realize what you are and who you are? Yeah. And when you recognize that, no problem before you stands a chance. And I don't mean that in no like wishful thinking or is it like it's sort of cliche, but it's right. real, it's understanding who you are as a person. Right. In relation to this whole entire experience. And once you recognize that, you start to really look at your problems as opportunities. Yeah, I agree. It's like snap out, I guess, if you look at the child get up. Like yeah. it is that wake up call, like, yo, snap out, because whatever problem it is, be it this or that, it's like once you decide to take control, mm -hmm. then there's no problem. Right. There's, like, there's no stopping you at that point. Like only right. you. Basically. And you wrote that. Like you're yeah. the only one standing in your own way. So although the book is not yeah necessarily about childhood trauma mm -hmm. um but i do want to tap into it a little bit because i feel like childhood trauma um this is a heavy topic in itself because a lot of people experience a lot of people are not comfortable sharing their childhood trauma mm -hmm. um but i feel like a lot of people as adults like it holds us back from stepping into our purpose mm -hmm. because we're so busy you know, either obsessing over the past or, you know, just we can't let go of things that happen or some people can't even acknowledge what happened to them in the past. Mm -hmm. And it, it hinders them from moving on and, right. and they're, they're awakening. So what does childhood trauma look like to you? Like, what does that look like? Yeah, that's a good question. Yo, childhood trauma in an interesting sense, you know, we discussing the idea of, of how do we see it, right? Mm -hmm. Like, the, the idea that there's really a law that really tells you, though, there's really two sides of a story. I know it's a saying that we always say, but mm -hmm. it really is always two sides of a story. It is. And it's Some like... people say three. <laughs> yeah, well, depending on how you want to look at it. <laughs> right. Depending on your perception is what right. it's going to be, mm -hmm. right? So the trauma could really be, like you said, that hindering point, mm -hmm. or it could be that stepping stone, that stepping right. block, that thing that you... What is what makes you you, right? right? Like what makes you distinct or makes you able to speak about something so thoroughly. Right. So it's like, yo, trauma is what you decide to make it. I really even feel jaded about that word too. Like the trauma sense, it got a heavy tone, but depending it on does. how you want to look at it or perceive it. Yeah. I mean, some people have experienced like heavy, heavy trauma, mm -hmm. like, you know, sexual assault substance abuse in uh in the home you mm -hmm. know and i feel like when people hear trauma like that's the immediate go-to like you just think like okay child abuse you know sexual abuse those type of things but it's it's smaller things like mm -hmm. you know degrading your child mm -hmm. not showing mm -hmm. your child respect um not validating yeah. their feelings mm -hmm. you know a lot of men 
who have sons, they feel like like you can't cry because, you know, you're a man. Like, mm -hmm. And they're little boys at the end of the day. And it's like those are, you know, forms of child trauma. Like if you grow up with parents like that, that can mess you up as an adult. And I feel like, you know, you get older, you detach yourself from emotions. And, you know, it, it, it affects you not just physically but mentally mm -hmm as well and 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 it can make you sick like i really yeah. like this is what you like gotta hold back but yeah. speaking from experience like i feel like everybody grew up with some type of something in right. their family and for me i didn't think my story was as bad as the next person so in my mind i'm like I don't have no childhood trauma. Like, I was just, had a regular childhood, mm -hmm. and things happened, mm -hmm. but I'm good. Right. Until, like, really strange, like, so we work with, do you want to share that we work with kids? Yeah. Okay. So we both work with kids. Yeah. So there's a lot of workshops we have to take and all of that, and we took a workshop where we had to take a trauma test. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, okay, and when I started checking... <laughs> Checking off them boxes, I'm like, oh, wow, like, I am considered someone who suffered from childhood trauma. Although my trauma may not be as bad as the next, it still happened. And it mm. still makes me who I am today, whether right. the good or the bad. Right. You feel me? So it's like, now as adults, how does that affect you, like, in your everyday life? Good and bad. Yeah, nah, and and that's when you realize you got to make a decision. Like, it's it's we constantly make decisions. Yeah, and it's like some of us are realizing that we're making a decision, some don't. Like, mm -hmm. some are just making unconscious decisions. But everything, even your thoughts, mm -hmm. are making a decision. Yeah, and it's like, again, it's like, what do you want to feed? What do you want to create? Yeah, and that's that's just, that's as straightforward as it gets. Like, it, it's really a decision that you're making and being aware of making that decision. Yeah. Because, yeah, you could justify your, your previous pain. Everybody could, right? Because mm -hmm. like you said, everybody has some form of something. Some type of, yeah. But then what kind of, what kind of world would it really be? You know what I'm saying? It's like... Do you if really, everything was perfect. Or if everything was the same in that way, like everyone would just complain about their traumas. Yeah. Like somebody got to make the choice, or rather we have to make the choice to recognize like, yo, granted that happened, but how could I perceive it again in that law of polarity because everything has two sides? Yeah, I could have been sexually assaulted, or yeah, I could have been robbed, or yeah, I could have been degraded as a child, mm -hmm. or whatever trauma that you went through. Mm -hmm. But it's like, what did I learn from it, though? Like, how, how does it now, how could it serve me rather than hurt me? Right. Because, again, as an adult, ain't nobody gonna have pity on you. And how does it now, how could it serve me rather than hurt me? Right. Because... Again, as an adult, ain't nobody gonna have pity on you in the sense of they sure won't. You know what I mean? They're like, very insensitive, like the, the program. But it's not to be insensitive; yeah. it's more so taking control of yeah. of of the better side to it. Because right. Creating your own the, narrative as an adult right. and overcoming it. And I, I, gratefully, some people can do that. But unfortunately, there's a lot of people who can't. And it, I always wonder, like, why. Is it so hard for people to overcome that that trauma? Like, why do you allow the past to just hinder you from moving forward? Like, when you know, like, okay, from personal experience, like, I had a ignorance. parent who... Ignorance. My fault to cut you off. <laughs> it's ignorance that's yeah. holding us back. But go ahead, though. But... You had a parent who... I had a parent who dealt with... Substance abuse. Oh, yes. that sounds crazy. Let me just say, I had a drinking problem or oh. whatever. Mm -hmm. um, and although in the moment I didn't realize how it affected me, like as an adult, I can see like, yeah, this is why I, I am the way I am or, you know, my lack of emotion sometimes. Like I just, I just shut down because I grew up being such a like uh, a spectator or an observer and I just took in a lot. But I didn't really, like, let it out. And you even said, like, you, you're very sensitive to, like, what's happening around you. But I'm just, I'm observing everything, but I'm not releasing it. So I hold it in, and it's just, like, it's not for the best because although me and, you know, 
that pair and have a better relationship now. There's still moments where I'm like, ooh, what you did back then. And that's just, I feel like that's just being a human. Like, you just, you can't help what this person has done. Like, although I know, like, it's not my fault, it, it's a sickness. Like, there's nothing, but there's still that, like, frustrating part of me. But I know I can't walk around with it. I can't let it hold me back. I can't let it affect my everyday life because it happened. It's done. It's, it's, we're here. And I have to take advantage of where we are now mm. and value him for who he is in the moment and mm. not for what he has done. It's hard, but I feel like as adults, that's just, that's now your job to either get over it or cry about it every day, make your life miserable. And that's just not something I want to do. Right. And that's just the concept you can about trying to get up. Like, yeah. It's, it's, it's like recognizing that, again, you got a choice in mm -hmm. this. And it's like, yeah, you could justify your problems. Like, like you could you could kind of be like, this, this is the reason why I'm the way I am is because of this person's reactions or whatever it might be. But it's like, Justifying a problem ain't gonna make the solution neither. So it's like it comes back again to a choice. Mm -hmm. And I think the part about it is we get caught up in sometimes a routine of or an assumptive way of thinking about a certain topic mm -hmm. that we don't give our chance to approach it delicately and like with awareness yeah. even better. Like, because <clears throat> it's like certain people trigger certain feelings in us or certain characteristics or certain reactions and people trigger yeah. something in us. But I think it's more of a of a spectator on us. It's more of a, a reflection of us, yeah. right? By what we react into. Mm -hmm. And so if we could give our chance to self or rather ourselves a chance to like see the situation for what it is and, and just unpacking it. Just take a step back. Like yeah. I don't even want to make it sound like it's something that's that just happens. I just think it's like being conscious, being here, being present, mm -hmm. like, and making the decision. Like, that's all it is. It's like, you're always making decisions. So yeah. much is habitual, you don't even think about it. Yeah, it's very true. And, uh, and it's triggering feelings, too. Yes. Oh, and, gosh. And, yes. like, how you feel, how you go about your day, and you don't really want nothing to affect you to that point. You know what I'm saying? So you want to take control. It's like, the thing is, I look at it like, you know, if you keep yourself in a positive state of mind yeah. all the time, the only it's, it's like like attract like. Like if you remain you in the vicinity. You can only receive the positivity back. Like Right, when you I remain agree. in the vicinity of a positive thought, be it people, places, things, whatever. Yeah. But that positive perception is what's going to associate other positive thoughts, which reflect in our bodies and how we feel. I agree. I so agree with that 100%. And that's I, why taking control is... Is very important. It is. It's like don't sit in that that trauma and that hurt and that pain. Don't sit there yeah. when you know. And especially now, like I get it. Growing up back in the days when we was younger, like our parents didn't have certain resources and knowledge about these type of things. So all they did was take their childhood traumas and you know mm -hmm. dump it now on their kids without right. even really realizing it. But I feel like now, like, there's way too many outlets out here to still be sitting in that, that negativity. You understand mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Whether it's going to church, joining a, a therapy group, going to a therapist, mm -hmm. something, mm -hmm. you have to tap into something to, to make it better for yourself. Right. Opposed to just sitting there, woe is me, and throwing yourself a pity party every day. Why? And I know that sounds a little insensitive. Mm. It sounds a little <laughs> insensitive. I know. And I it's get it. Trip, it's not it's not as easy as it sounds, but like right. you said, it's it's a decision that right. you have to make for yourself, for your future kids right. or whatever. Like again, working with kids, we see like the effect certain things can have on children. Tell it's, me about it. Crazy. It's really crazy. Yeah. And it's it's hard to watch and it 
for me, like, yes, I would love to be a parent one day, but it, it scares the shit out of me. Like, I'm, a, I'm, a, honestly, because yo, it was wild. Is when you send your kid <laughs> off to school with the other kids, you don't know what they learn. You at don't home. know what, no wow. matter what you teach that. And this is why I said, like, wow. I'm so fearful of my child just taking a different direction because of the influence out there. No matter what I teach them, and even if. Even myself, like, I'm scared to fail my child. Because although I know, like, okay, do this, do that, do this, you never know. It can mm -hmm. still be too much mm -hmm. or still not enough. Mm -hmm. You just never know. Like, there's no <laughs> freaking handbook to say, okay, this is the perfect way to do it. So it's like, I get it. Like, I'll never fault my parents for any anything that they, you know, might have yeah. caused or anywhere where they were lacking. Because... There's no perfect way to do it. But just acknowledge, though, like, yeah, I could have, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like, I hate, like, don't be in denial. Mm -hmm. Like, acknowledge mm -hmm. your child's trauma because although that may not have been your intentions, right. it's, you can't, you can't dictate to how that child felt. You understand? Right. You can't take away from their experience, even right. if that wasn't your intention. So... No, you know, it's real. it's hard. It's that's hard. Real. We see it and, every day. Yeah, and that's a that's so funny. Like that takes the parent to like recognize their faults. Yeah. And sometimes it's hard to make people recognize their faults. So it's super like, hard. Or better said, it's it's harder to change people than 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 to change yourself. Yeah. So it's like rather change yourself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Than try to change people because once we change ourselves. Our perception changed. Like we don't look at that as a hindrance no more. Mm -hmm. Like whatever it was that that person did, we actually look at it with like a sense of blessing, or whatever it is, or yeah. or something positive, something on the on the outer spectrum of of you know what I'm here now. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? With a sense of appreciation because again, it's it's, it's it is a choice, but. Yeah. I hate to bring it back to that, but <laughs> child, get your ass up. Child, dude. get your ass up and <laughs> get you the some therapy. I know <laughs> that would have made it really like Yo, child, really get, your get your ass up. up. Like no, because yeah. it's true. Like I, 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 I can't stress how much like how important it is. Like no matter what you've gone through, like get your ass up and get you some help. Right. Do something to better yourself. Like, take time to yourself. Like, I'm so big on that. Like, I don't care if it's five minutes sitting in the park by myself. Like, I have to have, because we spent, and that's something else you talked about, but like, we spend the day so much just consumed with other people and just so much noise. Mm -hmm. You don't even, even when you get in the house sometimes, even if you live alone, because you're still like, all right, I got to straighten up. I got to cook. I got to prepare for the next day. You never just like, mm -hmm. so even if it's for five minutes in the park, five minutes sitting in the car where you just do nothing, mm -hmm. sometimes you need that because yeah. you got to you gotta bring yourself back because you could just get lost. But again, like. I agree. Just, just get yourself some therapy. Like, honestly, like get some help if you need it. Whatever you've been through, we've all, like everybody got a story. Some are worse than others, but we all have a story and we've all been through something. And it's, it's, you can overcome it. Like, do not let your past be the, the, the end of the story. It's not the end all be all. How you feel about meditation? I've never tried it, but I feel like, I feel like it's, it's effective. I'm sure it is. You do. I mean, well, I started, but okay. that concept of taking that five minutes and pop by yourself, mm -hmm. that's your form of meditation right there? Yeah. It's not always, um, nah, yeah. like, it's yeah. not the typical, like, sitting there. Yeah, home. nah, you don't need a lot. Yeah. You just need you. Yeah. Like that. So I guess that's, yeah, my form of meditation. I, I just, you know, even when I'm prepping in the room, like, I got to listen to some, some calm music. Sometimes ASMR is weird to some people, but it does something for me. But, like, something to just bring me back because, like, I, I can't allow, I can't allow the past to alter my, my, my mental or my energy. I can't allow other people to affect my energy. Like, I refuse. Like, I... I refuse mm -hmm. to allow other people to affect me to the point where I'm like enraged. I mean, it happens. Don't get me wrong, mm -hmm. but like, 
unless you're directly affecting me, like, I can't. Like, you did something that was stupid, um, that's on you. Mm -hmm. But I'm not going to allow it to just, like, now alter my whole day. Like, no, now she did this and I got to be stressed. I, I just can't. I can't. And I don't know if that's part of my trauma that I just, like, shut things out. But mm -hmm. that's just the reality of it. No doubt. But um, I guess we all process things Yeah. <laughs> Everybody process things differently. That's why I said whatever it is that you got to get through it, just get through it no matter what it looks like. For me, it may be writing. For you, it may be writing. For somebody else, it could be, I don't know, cleaning, something, mm -hmm. anything. But... You know, channel that energy into something positive, no matter what. But I feel like we're going to keep rambling. <laughs> um, again, let them know where they can purchase your book. On IG. The only platform for now. <laughs> I'm uh, gonna... Send out. Sendout.com. Yeah. Um, okay. Slash Just Frenzy. Just J-U-S underscore F-A-R-A-N-Z-I. I'm going to leave I everything in the description. Done. I hope I spelled my own Instagram name right. I said that pretty tight. <laughs> you did, but that's okay because I'm going to leave yes, it. Yes, yes, not. J-U-S underscore F-R-A-N-Z-I. I think I was talking too fast to sound cool, but I need to slow it down. Get See, out of it's myself. easy breezy. Yeah, no doubt. It's going to be in the description down below, so they can just click it. And, yeah, y'all can go ahead and purchase the book, Child Get Up by Franzi. Yeah. Why are you afraid to say my name for? Because I, I was about to say, I don't know Frenzy. the last name. Frenzy. Was, yeah. Did you put just Frenzy? No, yeah. you put the last name. On what, the book? Yeah. Oh, yeah, Frenzy Villain. But okay. that's the government, though. You don't need, we all don't need all that. All right, just make sure y'all go in, uh, to his yes, IG man. and that's purchase the, the book. Style. Thank you for joining me. I appreciate, I appreciate it. We finally got our conversation on camera. <laughs> so, because we be having some good conversations. Nah, nah. But yeah, make sure y'all tune in every single Friday. For Family Friday discussions. Thank you for watching. We out.